What's going on? How are you guys this week? A little bit slow down at Frankie's for range meat this Monday. It's about one o'clock. My guys already have all the orders finished. We're actually uh, loading up the UPS truck right now. About half of what we usually do. So nice, uh, quick and early day. And the rest of the week, we just got a couple small things to catch up on. My guys are packaging up some of the goat testicles right now. A lot of you guys have been waiting for that. We are out of pemmican and chocolate best bars as well as whey protein. So if you guys ordered that on Frankie's Free Range Foods, just give us a couple days. My guys are gonna probably make those sometime this week. Probably gonna be getting some new equipment and I'll talk about that in a little bit after we take a look in our freezer just to show you guys quickly what's going on this week. We do have the prime ribeye back in stock. Show them this, show them this incredibly high marbling actually almost higher than most of our wagyu steaks and we still do have those wagyu steaks so we have the ribeye and the new york strip these are a bit smaller these are 12 ounces the prime ribeye is one pound we got the one pound beef belly back cut up I think we ran out a month ago. I never told you guys we restocked it. We also have the whole beef belly. I think we showed you guys last week. We have the one pound venison now and the marrow bones are finally all cut up and packaged. So these are about one and a half pounds each. You get two femur marrow bones. Hopefully this lasts us a little while because getting that stuff in was a nightmare. I showed you guys the new beef fat too. The beef suet fat looks really good actually packaged in three pound outside of that there's not really much to show you guys in the freezer this week um, the knuckle bones i think we're actually going to make a collagen broth we're just going to put the bones in with some mountain valley spring water boil that down because you know i was looking in all the supermarkets and they don't need preservatives or anything in the broth so it's, it's all non-perishable and that's really what you guys would probably use it for anyway so instead of having to ship you, you know, $15, $20, $30 worth of bones for a ridiculous price, like $150 and not making any money off of it, we can probably make that broth here ourselves, sell it $10, $15, and uh, it's, it's better in general for everyone. So maybe we'll have that within a week or two. So that's the first new product we're probably going to have, a collagen broth, which is literally just beef and water, nothing else added. I think we're actually gonna do a giveaway on the jerky this week although you know it's very expensive and the labor cost is very high to do this we do have quite a bit of the beef jerky in stock so if you place an order stepping on some bubble wrap if you place an order on frankie's free range meat only for this week i'm going to give away one package of jerky with your order next week we're probably going to go back to the bison and the reason i'm doing that is because we're going to do a flavored jerky I have a, a pretty cool idea for a recipe. I think it's going to be really delicious. So I just want to move some of the plain stuff out. We'll have the flavored stuff as well. And I think we're going to be able to do the meat granola in addition to a new kind of apple macadamia banana bar. I actually have uh, the labels for those right here. We haven't made it yet because I need to go pick up a meat grinder as well as a mixer. Not too expensive. And the only reason I'm doing that is because these specific machines don't need any additional electrical work. They all run on 110 volt. We should be able to get these products back in stock very soon. And already, I spent the money on the materials we need to make the bars, and I just don't have the equipment to do it. You know, food processor doesn't work. It's not, it's not high power enough. So hopefully within two or three weeks, we have those three new products for you guys, the collagen broth, the apple macadamia banana bars, as well as the flavored jerky, meat granola, maybe a little bit longer i got to test out uh, what temperature we have to use the dehydrator at and uh how difficult it's going to be to make so hopefully you guys see that new equipment next week and a lot of you guys were asking me uh especially in the q a questions and just in general the past few weeks like what's going on with the business and what the deal is you guys know we didn't end up getting that slaughterhouse because the bank wouldn't give me the loan and I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to get any loans because of the lawsuits. If you know, you're a small business and you go to any sort of lender or bank or whatever and you can't show them that you have you know, at least a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of profit 
and that you don't have any lawsuits. In addition, not only that, they also want you to have basically the collateral value of the loan to do it. So we're going to see how this year goes, guys. I'm not really too optimistic, but I'm willing to put that in at least. And towards the end of the year, if things aren't working out, I'll probably figure something else out because right now with the amount of profit the business is making, th there's just no way I'm going to be able to save up enough money to actually relocate or, or get a new facility myself. It would be dependent on a business loan, which as I just explained, can't really get. So there, there's not much going on with Oregon Supplements. I mentioned the zinc a couple times. We still don't have that in yet. And I think instead of the magnesium oil with MSM, we're just going to do a plain magnesium as well and see if you guys like that any different. The Wi-Fi shielding, we're gonna have winter clothes in a month or two. We're still waiting on the shipment of that stuff. The lead powder is coming, so we're gonna have the anti-radiation paint, and we might also have some more devices. Uh, I'm not sure on those yet, but we're definitely getting everything back in stock with the winter clothes and the lead powder to make into lead paint. The Frankie's Naturals, I'm gonna redo the moisturizing cream formula, and we're gonna have a new lip balm, so. That should be uh, within a couple weeks as well, as soon as I get my head out of my ass to actually make some stuff. We do have a ton of the water keeper in stock for you guys. Plenty of ginger lime, apple, lemon, as well as the plain regular. Uh, we might do a slight discount on it this week just to move it out, but it is very expensive to make. We're using you know, the Mountain Valley spring water. We have all organic juices and ingredients, everything by hand. So we do have everything in stock on frankiestrangefoods.com. Oh, last thing I forgot to mention is, instead of paying the Con Ed bill, uh, I do have my lawyer maybe filing something against them. And I mean, I think I said it the other week, uh, it's not a good idea to be suing a $12 billion company, but we'll see how it goes. You know, th there's no real alternative. And, and one of my viewers commented, it's in the name, Con Edison. You know, they're conning you, they're a bunch of con men. So whatever, we'll see how that goes. That's really it. I was thinking about buying some type of van and maybe outfitting that to, for some type of slaughtering vehicle, but I don't know if I'm gonna be willing to drive upstate every week for two or three hours to do that. Or, you know, and, and hiring someone to do that is also a risk liability, having them drive a company vehicle. Although that is in the budget, you know, I can't afford to relocate, I can't afford a farm, I don't have the cash flow to keep an operation like that running. I can afford a van, I can probably hire a butcher, but that is really not something I want to do in this facility down here. It's really out of the realm of what's reasonable. Can I do you know, two or three cows a week down here? Would I absolutely lose my fucking mind? Probably. So I really don't want to have to do that. I'd rather see how things go for a couple more months and then take it from there. But you know, everything I've tried so far, you know, the Amish, things didn't work out. Relocating the business didn't work out. Getting the bank loans didn't work out. So, you know, I might, I might just do something else. Um, the, the, I don't think the Russian girls will like me too much, but I think, I think Colombia might be a good idea. And uh, I think the drugs are a lot cheaper down there anyway. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, you can go to Frank. What are you shaking your head for? That's what, you, that's what you were doing last night. You guys can see all my businesses. Frankie's Syringe Meat, Frankie's Syringe Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, check out frank .com. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.